See a double on boy, Forbes right now, yeah. but that's the exciting the part, right? That's mm -hmm. the exciting part yeah. about all of this, right? Yeah. Is that we finally get to see these guys out here in yeah. their helmets on the field, working out together. And I that's the big, the biggest thing I'm excited for, not only for Forbes but for yeah. the entire secondary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all of them, yeah. not yeah. just him. Yes. Yes. It's like, how do they put these guys in better positions? You know, mm -hmm. in, in that interview you guys did with yeah. with Wit when he first signed, yeah. he said, "I want to find them a nugget, right? Give yeah. them a nugget, give them actionable information that allows them to be the best." Ball. Yeah. Like so, at the end of the day, the more DBs, the merrier. Yeah, I think one of those things that, that those guys—he's very skilled. He's tall. He can run with Six guys. Six three. He's yeah. always on you. Yeah. Defensive line. If you yeah. see all the way in that right corner yeah. over there, is our defensive line getting in work? Let's talk about our defensive line a little bit. And yeah. It's a new look defensive yeah. line, man. Yeah. We are completely different across the board, man. How do you think we fared due to injury, but was very impactful on that Niners team? Deep in that How rotation. How do you feel he fits? Do you feel like he might be that guy on the other side that could get the start, or is it still up in the air? I think it's by committee. Like yeah. you have running back by committee. I think we're gonna pass by committee because mm -hmm. you can't get a guy like Fowler and I keep telling people because we brought in so many in just and just totally elevate this group and we talk about these younger returning guys that are coming in that you know are still on this roster KJ Henry KJ yep. mm -hmm. Henry is also a guy that I think fans are very excited to see what mm -hmm. he can do. What do you think his capabilities are in this defense with all of these different pieces? Well, I think the great thing about KJ Henry, man, is that he's just he he showed flashes when he was in yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah, I know you talked about this quite mm -hmm. a bit last year because you, you know you're at the games, you're, you're traveling all the time. Mm -hmm. Is he'd make plays when he had to? Right? Yeah, yeah. You know he works hard, he's diligent, he's got this great athletic. Yeah, charm. yeah. And everybody. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, the windows that Jaden Daniels gonna be throwing through, they gonna be tight windows, yeah. and you are gonna have to have a little cheat code in you to get open. And and not only those cheat coach just knowing how to I guess you can say uh learn that playbook you know yeah. what I mean that's one of the things that we take for granted I mean when you're a young guy you want to know how can I get into this playbook and learn it you know fast enough where I can get on the field and make sure I'm handling my business you know I used to always tell the wide receivers in the room that hey look I'm, I'm not worried about it said a lot of different body types and a lot of different skill sets over in that tight end room now let's move over to the wide glimpse of that because I think he has a, a he has a high ceiling he's one of those guys if you get him active you get him going early and often man it's no telling what he can be and then it's going to be who's going to be the next guy yeah. maybe we have a jameson crowder yeah. that lead that uh you know lead that slot position yeah. maybe we have a guy luke, luke McCaffrey, McCaffrey lead yeah. him. you know it's so many guys especially this time and he's going to be the guy that's going to be the leader and he's going to be the one that everybody's going to basically say hey let me do what he's doing and, and another guy that we didn't get to talk about and made mm. a play right when we got off yeah. live last time, great catch yeah. by Terry McLaurin, is a Rose Me Jack Saint. Yeah. Yeah. He makes a one-handed snag like yeah. that. Yeah. Now, I know it's just the very first day, but all it takes is one play like that. Yeah. Yeah. All it takes is one play like that to make a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. How excited are you to have a guy like that? Because he's something different, Tanner. He's mm -hmm. a big body. Just, we I, haven't I, had I, a big was, body like that. I was chance. just going to say yeah. one of the things that we talked about when he made that catch is he was a guy that – 
rarely dropped balls in college. Yes. Two. You know? Two, <laughs> two, two drops. Whole, whole career. Zero last and two then we're talking about crazy. different body types. We have a Terry who's, you know, a smaller guy. We have a Jahan who's a smaller guy. We just got, you know, Luke here who, who was Luke supposed to be the tallest guy. Yeah. And then you get Jack Singh. He's he's great out as the tallest guy. So, yeah. I mean, when you have a guy with a different, you know, upside when it comes to height and has the hands he has, he's a guy that could easily find his way in that core, in that group, because you need those different kind of body styles. Yeah. You never know. You might have a package for him around the goal line or something like that, but he that, he's definitely one of the guys that I'm going to keep my I eye think on. The, the, the sure. thing, too, though, the with these spring. wide receivers is after Terry, after Jahan, we just seen Jahan returning punts, is what special teams can they major yeah. in? Yes, for like, sure. Like, when it comes to wide receiver room, those wide receiver positions, if he's better at, at special teams, they could get him an unlock a position on this team. You already see Terry over so, here kind of tutoring yeah. up on, yeah. you know, yeah. McCaffrey, McCaffrey and yeah. stuff like that. So that's what's going to be key, man. You know, you have a guy here who's done it at a high level from the start. You know, he, what, 4,000 yard season in a row? Could easily to being five, I think he got cheated out of that first year. He only had 900. So, yeah. man, he's one of the best of the best in this league. So it's going to be great to see him and lead this course. Also, also, I think that's a great point, Tan. And I think that it's great that Luke is seeking it, right? Yeah. He's yeah. asking yes, questions. He he's, and I think that was kind of the MO coming out of college. But I also think it's interesting that we kind of thought of Luke McCaffrey, at least I did, as like a big slot player. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's lined up with the X's right yeah. now. You've yeah. got Terry, you've got Rice and Tremaine, you've got Rosemary Jack Saint, yeah. and you've got Luke McCaffrey mm -hmm. all in that yeah. kind of X line right behind yeah. Terry. And so I think it kind of shows it kind of peels back the curtain a little bit and mm -hmm. says maybe this is how we think about him as a player yeah. and I also think it's interesting that Kaz Allen is like in the F line he's not yeah. with the running backs anymore yeah. he's a true receiver now so all those little things are kind of how this staff is viewing some of the personnel, which I think is always fun. And, and that's a good point about Luke McCaffrey because there's not a lot of film on this guy at receiver. He's only played yeah. the position two years. He was a quarterback at Nebraska before heading over to Rice. And I talked to him about that. I yeah. asked him, I said, does that give you an advantage on it how does. you prep and yeah. see the field? And he said, of course it yeah. does. Yeah. He said, of course it does. Tana, you have played with guys like mm -hmm. that that have played multiple positions, both sides yeah. of the ball, man. How much of an advantage does he have coming into the room like this with all that extra knowledge? Well, one, he's his daddy's son. Yeah. So oh, that's, I mean, he, yeah. I mean, two, two Super Bowls, McC yeah, you know, like yeah. guys like yeah. guys that have that feel right for the yeah. zones and yeah. the spacing. Randall and, and it's yeah, yeah great, Randall, great, great glimpse of it. And Fred, you pointed this out when we were um at rookie camp. Yeah, I'm and a it was just <laughs> it was just jaded. Yes, you are. It was just jaded at Sam Hartman throwing. Yeah. Now you are seeing him next to some veterans. You're seeing him yeah. next to yeah. Mariota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing right now? Seeing Jaden throw like that. I mean, the passing the connect right there to McCaffrey, with, but it looks good. With, just no effort. When the ball leaves yeah. his hands, it's, it's, quick, it's like easy. I'm talking about a yeah. rifle, and it looked like he, a rifle. Yeah, because because <laughs> you know what? When guys usually have a strong gum like that, they, they want to showcase it. it and, and, yeah. and, and like like the one thing we had to kind of tame Jason Campbell down with every mm -hmm. every throw. It shouldn't dark. be a bullet. Yeah. Like, the only reason I got that pick off of you because it hit the wide receiver hand, bounced off the yeah. hand because you threw it too hard. Well, yeah. I'm seeing him drop some balls in there with touch. I'm seeing him laser some balls out there to the running back. And like I said, it's just the effort in the throw mm -hmm. that I'm impressed with. And, Fred, as you were talking, there was a deep pass to Austin Jones where he ran out and grabbed it. Mm -hmm. Austin Jones, number 46, mm -hmm. got it played at USC. Now, mm -hmm. I think he's very interesting because our running back room is also very interesting. Has a relationship with Cliff King. There's some familiarity that's going to be beneficial last year mm -hmm. for a lot of the year. And yeah. so I can't wait to see what a healthy version of him looks like. And one of the things that Cliff does so well. Uh, but later down the road, you know, that's goals I set for myself uh, personally. But, um, you know, it just comes out with, with competing every day and getting better each and every day. What was the best part for you being out here today? Man, playing football again, being a part of the team, uh, new teammates, <laughs> new, new everything. And you know, just going back and, and be able to practice and play the game that I love. Jason, you've had a couple of weeks now to let uh, being the quarterback of this franchise sink in. I wonder what thoughts you have now for leading this team, and have you had any conversations with Doug Williams about what it means to lead this Washington, D.C. fan base? I mean, I had conversations with Doug uh, ever since I met him when I was 18 years old. Um, always always a good guy, um, obviously what he did for this organization, um, what he did for black quarterbacks in general, uh, it means a lot. Um, for me, it's not really just uh, looking at like what can I do for the team. It's like how can I help the team get better each and every day, uh, myself included. I know it's been a lifelong goal. We talked six weeks ago at your pro day. We talked two weeks ago at the draft. What has that time been like for you? Has it been fast, slow, or is it? Uh, it's been fast. Obviously, uh, pro day, doing pre-draft visits, um, and then obviously once you you hear your name called, everything completely changed. Uh, I was able to live out my childhood dream, uh, you know, being in the pros. And um, now I'm here. Now I'm be able to go out here and then uh, dive into this playbook, try to learn as much as possible, um, and go out there and try to get better each and every day. How's it working with? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. We were we were uneducated on the on the gambling policy in the NFL. Um, we learned about it last night. 
me and him have a conversation and, you know, we canceled the bet. Obviously, we don't, we don't want to get in trouble with anything. So uh, we're just focused on being the best players for uh, our respective teams. Jamie, it's only day one, but how is everything going with, with Cliff, Tavita, getting into the offense? Like, how do you Man, like it's it? fun. It's fun. Um, love it. I mean, just the open communication, open dialogue, having those guys around me. Um, obviously, I coached at, a, at the highest level. Uh, play too, so a uh, different set of eyes, man. So I'm, I'm trying to be a sponge and, and learn as much as possible. Did you watch any of Kyler and Cliff in Arizona? Yeah, I mean, I was at Arizona State at the time, yeah. so uh, for sure, for sure. I just love watching football in general. Jaden, you mentioned being a sponge. What do you think your biggest challenge is going to be integrating yourself into this franchise, into this team? Um, I mean, just going through the, the lumps of being a rookie and, and trying to uh, learn how to be a pro. Uh, I mean, however that is, that's on the field, off the field, man. Just uh, trying to learn as much as possible. I, I don't have a definitive answer for you. Uh, what I need to work on, I'm just trying to learn as much as possible. How much you talk about wearing the number five and what does it mean to wear that five on your jersey from now, having it in college and now to having it in the pros? What does it mean to you to wear that five on your jersey? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said earlier, it's significant not only to me, but to him also. So um, him allowing me to wear it. Uh, it meant a lot, you know, that he that he was able to uh, kind of just pass it to me, pass the torch, obviously with the with the agreements. But you know, he didn't have to come off he didn't have to come off the number. Uh, obviously, what he did for he's a captain, uh, all pro, pro bowl player. Um, so you know, he means a lot to this to this to the DMV to this organization. So uh, for him to be able to to allow me to wear a number, it just shows that he has my back, and you know, he's excited, and you know, that's what we talked about, and you know, I'm excited to be his teammate. How was it? Three more, three more. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a, a franchise, a, a franchise that's, that's eager, you know, um, be able to go out there and, um, you know, try to help the team win football games. And obviously it's new everything here. Um, and, you know, the, this, the DMV, this, fr- this fan base, you know, everybody, they, they, they want to see wins. Uh, they want to see excitement, they want to see joy. So, um, you know, hopefully that we could go out there, we could do it as a commander's franchise, as a team. Uh, but, you know, that, that's way down the road, you know. We worry about rookie minicamp and practice tomorrow. Man, it was awesome. Um, I said be able to live out a childhood dream. Um, seeing seeing my helmet, you know, my locker, obviously a jersey come out and, and get to practice. Um, you know, you can't take these times for granted because, you, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's something that a lot of people work for, a lot of people don't be able to achieve their dreams. So, you know, God bless me to be in this position, man. So I, I'm just happy. What are your, what are your early impressions of we'll just the playbook in general? Then we're done. What are your early impressions of just the playbook in general? I mean, is it an encyclopedia? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I would say any NFL playbook is encyclopedia, but, you know, it's day by day. Um, Obviously, today was install one. Um, you can go out there and just try to master install one and you know, go back, watch the, watch the tape. Um, and tomorrow, master insta- install two. Um, as uh, I start getting more rest, start getting more comfortable, you know, keep building and expanding on it. It's not just winning games, of course, it's also winning the locker room. How do you fit into this leadership role before? How do you kind of see yourself getting into that and kind of, you know, keep winning the best game you're kind of being a leader? Um, just being myself, being a hard worker. Um, don't try to be somebody I'm not. You know, people people see you real from fake, uh, authentic, and who's not. So just go out there, just be myself, uh, try to make connections, you know, talk, talk to people. Obviously, um, I'm 23. It's a lot of different age ranges in this locker room. So uh, trying to relate as much as possible, show them, you know, I'm all about the team. I'm all about hard work. Um, and I'm just here to get better each and every day. Right, Appreciate you. y'all. Thank you, Jaden. Ben, we're going to try to bolt out of here. <coughs> John, we're gonna give it a try. Right, we'll okay. Can you grab the extra? Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna get it.